Root is the super user in a Linux system. It has unrestricted access to everything, every file, every folder, every command. As a regular user, you might see a permission denied message, but if you're root, that restriction is gone. However, with great power comes great responsibility. One wrong move is root, and boom, you can break the entire system. Also, if an attacker gains access as root, it's game over. That's why allowing direct root login over SSH is risky. Disabling it is one of the simplest yet most effective ways to enhance your server's security. Now, open your terminal and run the SSH command, including the root user and your IP address. Once connected, create a new user with pseudo privileges if you don't have one yet. Otherwise, you might lock yourself out. Let's create a new user with the add user command and name it Bob. Then enter its password, retype the password, next enter Bob's each information, or press enter for the default. After that, add Bob to pseudo group. The pseudo group is a special user group whose members are allowed to execute commands with root privileges by using the sudo command. This step is crucial. You must add your public SSH key to each user you want to log in as over SSH. First, for Bob, create the SSH directory where SSH looks for the authorized keys file that holds allowed public keys. Then, copy the public key from root's SSH config into Bob's SSH directory allowing you to SSH as Bob using the same key. SSH requires strict permissions on authorized keys. The owner can read and write, and no permissions are allowed for anyone else. Lastly, ensure the file belongs to Bob. If Root owns the file, Bob can't read it. In the second step, you need to open the SSH configuration file. In this file, search for permit root login and change yes to no. If the line is commented out, uncomment it and set it explicitly to no. Control X, type Y, and press enter to save. In the last step, restart the SSH service to apply the changes. Now, open a new terminal and try logging in as root. You should see a permission denied message. Then, log in with your new user. And you are in. Perfect. You've successfully disabled root login over SSH.